Hey hi, hello everyone. This is gonna be the very last video for our to-do maker. And now we are only left with an edit function and a logout button. So without wasting any time, we're gonna get start coding. So guys, this is our actual, you know, entire to-do maker folder, the files we have created. And very first, I'm gonna go to classes and I'm gonna open the file called class manage to do dot php and guys if you remember the very first time we created this class at the time at that time we created a function to edit the to do so guys this was the actual method we created that time but right now I believe we need to make you know a couple of changes to it very first we are running a for each loop for the values that we want to edit so we just want to you know take that thing away and we're gonna you know uh, enter the field names actually you know at the time of editing them so what I'm gonna do is see uh, we do need the username we do need the ID of the to do that we are you know editing and the next thing we need is the title okay uh, we need a description uh, we need the progress okay might might be the person can also change the due date so we need due date as well uh, let me go back to Firefox open the edit button and we also need the label under so <clears throat> here I'm gonna say label as well okay and guys from here I'm just gonna take this for each loop away and we're gonna you know write a very simple MySQL update query so take this thing away uh, <clears throat> I believe that's fine like this okay like this and we cannot return any X because we don't have any X variable uh, right now now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say uh, update to do set where it says dollar key equals to dollar value I'm gonna take that thing that particular thing away and I'm gonna say set title equals to dollar title okay uh, the next thing would be dollar uh, description okay uh, I'm gonna say description will be equals to uh, dollar description uh, the next thing would be the progress so for the progress I'm gonna say will be equal to a variable called dollar progress okay and the next thing would be the due date uh, I can say equals to dollar due date okay and the next thing would be uh, the label and they're gonna be equals to dollar label and do it only on the row where the username is equals to the one who actually created it and the ID is equal to the one they are editing right now okay guys so I believe that's all from our update query and next thing we need to do is find out how many you know rows have been affected with this particular SQL query so I'm gonna say dollar uh, query and a you know PDO function called row count and here I'm gonna say return dollar counts okay so guys it's quite simple I'm gonna copy this function and its parameters from here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead inside the libs I'm gonna create a new file and just name it to edit to do dot php okay edit to do dot php and guys here I'm gonna say php if is it dollar underscore post edit I believe that would be our you know uh, edit button name okay here uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna say run this particular function but before that we need to include our class as well so I'm gonna say include wants uh, classes slash class manage to do dot PHP and you know we just need to create a instance of that particular class I'm gonna say init equals to uh, manage to do okay now this you know like now by using this particular init function we can access any methods inside this particular class so uh, here I'm gonna say dollar edit will be equals to dollar init edit to do okay guys now all we need is to create all these variables like the username ID title description progress due date and the label and for the for the username we can include our session file so here I can say include once session dot php okay uh, guys here I can say username will be equals to let me check out the variable we created session name okay 
So here I'm gonna say dollar session name and <coughs> for the ID we can get it from the URL so I can say dollar ID will be equal to dollar underscore get uh, ID okay and guys for the title description progress due date and label we will have to get it from this particular form okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back I'm gonna open this particular file where it says edit.php and I'm gonna you know grab the name of these fields a so title from here I'm gonna say dollar title will be equal to dollar underscore post uh, title okay uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this description so come back here dollar description will be equals to dollar underscore post description okay and the next thing would be the due date so copy that as well here it says due date will be equals to dollar post uh, due date okay and the next thing would be uh, the label that we're gonna you know select at the time of editing it so I'm gonna say dollar uh, label will be equals to dollar underscore post and the field name that's label under and I believe you're just left with a progress thing so uh, here it says progress value that's an hidden input field so I can say dollar progress will be equals to dollar underscore post progress value and I believe guys that's all we need from it and you know just for for some security purposes I can say uh, dollar progress will be equals to mysql real escape string okay just to make sure that you are saving your database from SQL injection otherwise guys PDO itself is really strong to take care of that but still you can have you know some extra security as well so uh, here I can say my SQL read escape string dollar progress. I believe that's all we need here. I can say if dollar edit is equal to equal to one, that means we are able to you know affect any one row. Uh, then on, let's say create a variable called success. Uh, name it equal to to do edit it successfully. Okay, to do edit it successfully. Okay, and else we can you know have a variable called error. Uh, there was an error. Okay, or right, guys, if you want, you know, instead of showing any message, you can redirect the person back to the same page so that they can see the changes as well. So it totally depends upon you the way you want to do it. So here it says error, here it says success, everything's fine. So, guys, next thing we need to do is we need to include. Uh, the file edit to do uh, to our actual edit file. So I'm going to say include once libs slash edit to do dot php and one more thing I just want to make sure here it says edit to do so I want to change that as well here it says edit to do I believe everything's fine from my side let's go ahead and test it and see whether we have any errors or not so I'm going to refresh oh there is an error it says there is a syntax error on line number 20 so that would be probably this particular one uh, okay we are missing our semicolon now everything's fine do one thing change the progress to 36 uh, made it to read later hit edit and there was something funny because we have you know the form action to the wrong page so here I have to say uh, edit.php and edit as equals to PHP uh, echo dollar get edit okay like this now guys come back to the inbox uh, here it says edit change this to 38 this time let's say two and it says there is a call to an undefined function mysql real escape string that's something really funny let me check out why okay my spelling's wrong so it would be escape like this okay that's my mistake guys come back it says to do edited successfully uh, come back to inbox 
um, go to read later and here it says progress to 38 that's awesome guys and here it says it's expired right now so the best we can do is let's make it to tomorrow okay and progress to uh, 67 probably it's again says undefined variable description on line number 51 okay so let me check out come back here and here I have to say like this that's my bad guys so it says there was an error come back here uh, try it one more time okay try it one more time and change this to 80 it says to do it successfully go to read later and you can see the progress is you know just about to reach 200 and one more thing you know what I can do is uh, instead of showing any ugly message I'm gonna redirect the person back to the same page so I'm gonna say header uh, location will be uh, equals to edit.php edit is equals to uh, ID is equals to dollar ID okay that seems quite better so one more try uh, let's change this to 37 uh, to inbox once again and hit edit and guys you can see now it's to inbox uh, the percentage has been changed as well but there is you know a slight problem that's uh, out here on the bottom it says 37 percent but our slider it's chill to you know zero percent so that's the problem we need to make it also to uh, you know to be at 37 you know to somewhere out here we don't want our slider to be on zero so what we can do for that is we can go to go back to our edit.php file and probably uh, here to sqlr I believe uh, we can make some changes or you know guys probably we need to find out the JS file like on uh, the file where we are you know just uh, dealing with this particular slider so uh, I believe JS no it's not here uh, okay it's inside our header file uh, actually you know uh, this is the entire section where we are controlling the behavior of this particular slider so um, if I'm gonna refresh you will notice it's again to 37 but the slider is to 0 or you know uh, somewhere around 1 or 2 so guys what we can do is uh, very first I believe we need to take this particular line off so for now I, I'm just gonna you know comment this particular line and what I'm gonna do is you know every time we are loading the page I wanna say dollar uh, ID progress value that's the value of our you know hidden field uh, dot well okay and we're gonna make it equals to a variable called current value okay and guys if you will notice the value of this particular hidden field is equals to you know the value we have inside our database see uh, here we are echoing that particular variable and every time we're gonna drag the slider then only we're gonna change it otherwise by default the value of this particular field is equal to the one we have inside our database so I'm gonna go back to header we have created this particular variable called current value instead of saying with where it says value to 2 I'm gonna change it to the variable called current value so come back uh, oh that's fine now you will see guys it's again to 37 bracket to 69 refresh everything's done you will notice it's to 69 probably change this to this one it says one more time edit it okay you know some crap refresh and guys you will notice everything's fine go back to inbox here we have where it says four days remaining with the progress of 69 person an option to delete it uh, you know it's also showing you know how many time have been left probably days have been left and there is a function to delete add new we can you know categorize them with different labels if you want you can create some more I only have three and the last thing that we are remaining with is a logout button so what I'm gonna do is inside the header.php file guys uh, I'm gonna copy this piece of code and um, here I'm gonna say logout okay I'm gonna say logout.php 
and here I'm gonna say log out come back refresh one more time guys there is a you know a uh, very little star out here you can go back to bootstrap and you know find a very nice logout icon from there and just paste that icon name here I'm not I'm not gonna waste any time for that but what we need to do first is we need to create a file called logout.php okay from like this uh, .php I'm gonna copy everything from session.php I'm gonna take this else uh, statement off like this and I'm gonna take this off I'm gonna say head the person to header uh, like to, to the look kit I'm really sorry to the login.php file and destroy all sessions inside that particular browser on this particular server okay so uh, we're gonna destroy all sessions so come back refresh hit logout it's you know it uh, redirected us back to the login.php just try to find you know access index.php file no it's not gonna let us do that so we can log in if you want we can create one more account we can start you know uh, adding our to do's we can start listing our stuff I believe guys you did learn something from this particular video series and I'm gonna see you guys next time goodbye